to be working up my Blooming Garden Afghan block. To work up this block, you're going to need four colors of worsted weight yarn. I'm going to be using Red Heart Super Saver today, and this is the Aaron Fleck, I believe. Green tones, this is a pink, and this one is Artist Print. You're also going to need a US I9 5.50 millimeter hook. Getting started on our first round of work, we're going to start with our alternate color. We're going to be using pink for our flowers today. So we're going to start with a slip knot, chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to join with a slip stitch to our beginning chain. And that's our first round of work. Getting started on round two of our work, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. That's going to count as our beginning half double crochet, the first two chains, and then chain three, the last three chains. Now, the repeat for this round is to work a half double crochet in our ring. You'll see that we made this little ring in our first round. We're going to work in the center of that, work a half double crochet, and then chain three. One, two, three. That's the first repeat. I'll show you again. Work a half double crochet in your ring, and then chain three. One, two, three. That's the second repeat. We need to do that a total of seven times. So you need to repeat it five more times and then I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round. Just to double check, you should have eight half double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And eight chain three spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this eighth one here we're going to close it. We're going to join with a slip stitch to our beginning half double crochet. So the second chain of our beginning chain five, work a slip stitch. And that completes the second round of work. Getting started on round three of our work, chain one. Now the repeat for this round is to work a single crochet in your chain three space, half double crochet in that same chain three space, double crochet in that same chain three space, half double crochet in that same chain three space, and then single crochet in that same chain three space. Now we're going to do that in each chain three space around. So I'll show you the repeat again, single crochet in the next chain three space, half double crochet in that same chain three space, double crochet in the same chain three space, half double crochet in that same chain three space, and then single crochet in the same chain three space. Continue repeating that around and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round. To finish off we're going to join with a slip stitch to our beginning single crochet and then at this point we can fasten off our yarn and draw it up. That completes the third round of work. Getting started on round four of our work, insert your hook between two of your single crochets. So right in here in between the two single crochets and we're going to draw up our master color. This one's the Aaron Fleck that I'm using. So we've drawn that up and then we're going to chain five. This is the first repeat for the round. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five. First three chains are going to count as our double crochet and the last two chains are going to count as our chain two. Now we're going to be working in the double crochet. So if you remember we did single crochet, half double crochet, and then a double crochet. But for this stitch when working in the double crochet, if you look at the back of your stitch you'll notice there's a little strand of yarn at the back of your work here. That's where I'm going to be working my stitch. So we're going to single crochet in that strand of yarn at the back of our double crochet. 
and then chain two, one, two. Now we're going to work a double crochet in between our next two single crochets. So we have that double crochet, half double crochet, and then a single crochet. So in between these two here, we're going to work a double crochet. Chain two, one, two. Now working in the next double crochet, remember working in that strand at the back there, I had already worked in it so it's all popped up, we're going to work a single crochet, chain one, single crochet in that same strand, chain one, and then single crochet in that same strand again. So you have three single crochets and a chain one between them in that strand at the back of the double crochet there. That's the first repeat for this round of work. I'll show you the repeat again. So we're going to double crochet in between our next two single crochets. Chain two, one, two. I gotta get some yarn here. There we are. Now working in the next double crochet, making sure to work in that strand at the back, work a single crochet. Chain two, one, two. Work a double crochet in between your next two single crochets. Now working in your next double crochet, making sure to work in that strand at the back, work a single crochet. Chain one, single crochet in that same strand. Chain one, single crochet in that same strand. Now that's the second repeat. Continue repeating that around and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round. To finish off we're going to join with a slip stitch to our beginning double crochet. So the third chain, one, two, three. Right in here we're going to join with a slip stitch. And that completes this round of work. Getting started on round five of our work, chain two, one, two, that's going to count to the beginning half double crochet. Work two half double crochets in your chain two space. So there's one, two, we're going to skip this single crochet, and then we're going to work two half double crochet in the next chain two space. So one, two. Work a half double crochet in your double crochet, half double crochet in the next single crochet, and then half double crochet in the chain one space. And then in our single crochet, on the next one here, we're going to work a half double crochet, chain two, one, two, half double crochet in that same single crochet. Half double crochet in the chain one space and then half double crochet in the single crochet. Now that's the first repeat for this round. I'll show you the repeat again. So getting started on our repeat we're going to work a half double crochet in our double crochet. Half Work two half double crochets in your chain two space. So there's one, two. We're going to skip that single crochet. Work two half double crochets in the chain two space. There's one, two. Half double crochet in that half or in the double crochet. Half double crochet in your single crochet half double crochet in the chain one space. In the next single crochet work a half double crochet, chain two, one, two. Now work a half double crochet in that same single crochet. Half double crochet in the chain one space, half double crochet in that single crochet. Now repeat that around two more times and I'll meet you at the end of the round. 
Here we are at the end of the round. Now to finish off this round of work, we're going to join with a slip stitch to our beginning half double crochet, but we're going to draw up our second alternate color, which is going to be for butterflies. So I'm using this artist print today. So we'll draw that up and we can fasten off our master color. And that completes this round of work. Getting started on round six of our work, chain one, and then we're going to cluster stitch in that same stitch that we joined in. So to cluster stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. We want to do that two more times, so yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. You want to do that one more time, so yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. You'll now have four loops on your hook, yarn over, draw through all four loops on your hook. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, we're going to skip our next three double crochets, so one, two, three. Working in the next, we're going to work a cluster stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. You'll now have four loops on your hook, yarn over, draw through all four loops on your hook. Chain two, one, two, skip the next stitch, working in the next, work a cluster stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into your stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. You'll now have four loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all four loops on your hook. Now we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to skip the next two stitches. We're going to skip this chain two space and then we're going to skip this next stitch here. So now that's the first repeat for this round. Getting started on our repeat, we're going to work a cluster stitch in the next half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. Yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. Now you want to do that two more times in the same stitch until you have four loops on your hook. One, two, three, four. And then yarn over, draw through all four loops on your hook. Chain two, one, two. Skip one half double crochet working in the next, work a cluster stitch. Had a knot in my yarn. Okay, so there's our cluster stitch. Chain three, one, two, three. We're going to skip three half double crochets. One, two, three. Working in the next, work a cluster stitch. Chain two, one, two, skip the next half double crochet, working in the next, work a cluster stitch. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Skip the next two half double crochet, skip the chain two space, and then skip the next half double crochet. That's the second repeat. 
Continue repeating that around and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here I am at the end of the round. I just finished my last repeat and you'll notice I have a random little cluster stitch here. We need to finish it off. So there's two. So we were, we had just finished skipping this stitch. Working in the next, we're going to work a cluster stitch. And then we're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to join with a slip stitch to our beginning cluster. So you'll notice it looks like there's a stitch up here, these two strands of yarn. Insert your hook under there and join with a slip stitch. That completes this round. We can fasten off our second alternate color, the butterfly color here, and we're done this round of work. Getting started on round seven of our work, you'll notice that you have three skipped half double crochets here between two cluster stitches. We're going to be working in these half double crochet stitches from round five. To get started, insert your hook into that center of those three stitches, and we're going to draw up our master color. Chain two, one, two, that's going to count as our beginning half double crochet. Now we want to work a half double crochet in that same stitch that we joined in. So there's the half double crochet and you'll notice that I pushed this chain back out of the way. I did not work over that. Now you can put your starting tail into the back there. Chain four, one, two, three, four. We're going to skip this half double crochet, skip the half double crochet between your two cluster stitches, skip the next half double crochet, working in the next, we're going to work a half double crochet. When we work this stitch, we're going to work over this chain five space from round six. So there's our half double crochet. Now working in this chain two space, making sure to work over the chain five, we're going to work two half double crochets. One, two, chain two, one, two. Now we'll work two more half double crochets in that chain two space, working over your chain five. So there's one half double crochet and two. That's the first repeat. Getting started on the second repeat, chain four, one, two, three, four. Skip this half double crochet, skip the half double crochet between your cluster stitches, skip this next half double crochet working in the next. We're going to work three half double crochets. So make sure to push round six out of the way to the back of your work. We're only working in round five, working three half double crochets. One, two, and then three. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Skip your next half double crochet. Skip the half double crochet between your two cluster stitches. Skip the next half double crochet working in the next. Work a half double crochet. Making sure to work your stitch over that chain five. Work two half double crochets in your chain two space. Making sure to work over that chain five space. So there's one, two, chain two, one, two, and then work two more half double crochet in that same chain two space, working over the chain five. There's the two. That's the second repeat. Continue repeating that around two more times and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round. I just finished my last repeat and we just have a little bit of work finish to finish. We're going to chain four, one, two, three, four. We're going to skip this half double crochet, skip this one, skip that one, and then we're going to work a half double crochet in that same stitch as our beginning two half double crochets. 
And then we can join with a slip stitch to our beginning half double crochet. And that completes this round of work. Before getting started on round eight, draw up your yarn and remove your hook. And we're going to put a stitch marker in our master color because we're going to pick it back up again in round nine. And make sure that you bring your tail to the front of your work and that it stays there so that you can continue working with it. Getting started on round eight of our work, for this round we're going to be working in round six, which is this second alternate color, and we're going to be using that color for this round. Uh, to start this round, we're going to insert our hook into the chain two space in between our two cluster stitches that is to the left of our master color here that we put our stitch marker in. If you're left-handed, you're going to start in the other side. So. For this round, we're going to draw up the alternate color, which is the butterfly artist print here, and we're going to chain three. One, two, three. That's going to count as our beginning double crochet, and then we're going to work two double crochet in that same chain two space. So there's one, and then two. We're going to chain two, one, two and then we're going to work three double crochet in that same chain two space one two and then three we're going to chain five now one two three four five I do chain them a little bit looser I think I find there. And then that's our first repeat for this round. Getting started on our second repeat, we're going to be working in the next chain two space between our cluster stitches right here. We're going we're not working over this chain three or chain four space here. So just push that to the back out of your way. We're going to work three double crochet in that chain two space. So one, two, and then th three, chain two, one, two, work three double crochet in that same chain two space, one, two, and then three, I just gotta see how many chain it is in between. Okay, so it's two. So we wanna chain two, one, two. Working in the next chain two space, we're going to work three double crochets. <clears throat> one, two, and then three. Chain two, <clears throat> work three double crochet in that same chain two space. So there's one, two, and then three. Now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now <clears throat> that's the second repeat. Repeat that around two more times and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round to finish off we're going to work three double crochet in our next chain two space between our cluster stitches here. So there's one, two, and then three, chain two, one, two, work three double crochet in that same chain two space, one, two, and then three, Okay, before joining, make sure to bring your master color to the front of your work. Chain two, one, two, and then join with a slip stitch to your beginning double crochet. You can fasten off and draw up your yarn, and that completes this round of work. Getting started on round nine, you can remove your stitch marker and insert your hook back into your master color, and then you can chain three. One, two, 
three, that's going to count as our beginning double crochet. Now you can work a double crochet in that same stitch that you joined in. And when you do this, make sure that you push the last round of work back out of the way. We don't want to work over that. So this is our double, second double crochet in that same stitch. We're going to chain two, one, two. Now work a single crochet in that chain two space between these three double crochet shells here. So that's a single crochet, chain two, one, two. Now we're going to be working back in these double crochet stitches here. We're going to skip the first double crochet, skip the second double crochet. Working in the third, making sure to work over top of this chain five, we're going to work a double crochet. Now we're going to work four double crochet in that chain two space, making sure to work over the chain five. So there's one double crochet, two, three, and then four. Chain two, one, two, and then we're going to work three double crochet in that same chain two space, making sure to work over that chain five. So there's one, two, and then three. That's the first repeat for this round. I'll show you the repeat again. Getting started on the second repeat. Chain two, one, two. Work a single crochet in that chain two space between your shells. Chain two, one, two. Now we're going to work in that center double crochet here and we're going to work two double crochets making sure not to work over the last round of work. So there's two double crochets, one and then two, chain two, one, two, work a single crochet in that chain two space between your three double crochet shells, chain two, one, two, Skip the next two double crochets. Working in the third, we're going to work a double crochet. And that stitch is worked over that chain five. Working in the chain two space and over top of that chain five, we're going to work four double crochets. So there's one, two, three, and then four chain two, one, two, and then we're going to work three double crochets in that same chain two space. One, <clears throat> two, and then three. And all those stitches were also worked over that chain five. So that completes the second repeat. Repeat that around two more times and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round to finish off chain two, one, two, single crochet in that chain two space between your shells, chain two, one, two. Now we're going to join with a slip stitch to our beginning double crochet. And that completes this round of work. Getting started on round ten of our work, on the, we're going to chain two, one, two, and then we're going to half double crochet in the next 11 stitches. So we want to half double crochet in our double crochet here. Work two half double crochets in your chain two space. Work a half double crochet in your single crochet. Work a ha two half double crochets in your chain two space. Work a half double crochet in each of the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and then five. So that should be a total of 11. So there's our beginning. And then two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. 11. And then in our chain three space, we're going to half double, cro or sorry, that's a chain two space. We're going to half double crochet chain two, one, two, 
and then half double crochet in that same chain 2 space. So now that's our beginning repeat. Getting started on the second repeat for this round, we're going to half double crochet in the next 20 stitches. So we're going to work a half double crochet in the next three double crochets here. One, two, three. Work two half double crochets in that chain two space. There's one, two, half double crochet in the single crochet. Work two half double crochets in that chain two space. Work a half double crochet in the next two double crochets. So there's one and then two. Work two half double crochet in the chain two space. One, two, half double crochet in your single crochet. Work two half double crochets in that chain two space and then work a half double crochet in each of the next five double crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, and then five. So that should be a total of 20. Starting right here, this is our first one. So two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six, eight, twenty. And then in our corner chain two space, we're going to work a half double crochet, chain two, one, two, and then half double crochet in that same chain two space. That's the second repeat. Repeat that around two more times and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round. Uh, to finish off, we need to half double crochet in the last eight stitches. So work a half double crochet in each of the next three double crochets. There's two and then three. <clears throat> half double crochet two times in that chain two space. One and then two. Half double crochet in your single crochet. And then work at two half double crochets in that chain two space. So that should be eight. We've got two, four, six, eight. And now we can join with a slip stitch to our beginning half double crochet. And that completes this round of work. Before getting started on the next round of work, draw up a loop and remove your hook and insert a stitch marker into your master color. Making sure to bring your yarn to the front of your work and so it can be picked back up in round 12. Getting started on round 11 of our work, we're going to insert our hook into the second half double crochet to the left of our master color. So our master color is in this stitch right here. So we're going to count over two, one, two, and we're going to insert our hook into that half double crochet there. And we're going to draw up our third alternate color. I'm using green tones today. And then you can chain three. One, two, three. The first two chains are going to count as our beginning half double crochet and chain one. And then we're going to work a half double crochet in that same stitch. That's our first V stitch made. Now we're going to skip the next two half double crochets working in the third we're going to work a half double crochet V stitch. So to do that, work a half double crochet, chain one, and then half double crochet in that same stitch. Now we need to do that three times, so that's our first. We're gonna do that again, so skip two stitches. Working in the third, work a half double crochet V stitch. So half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the same stitch. Skip the next two stitches, half double crochet V stitch in the next. So work a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in that same stitch. We're going to skip the next half double crochet working in our chain two space in the corner. <clears throat> work a half double crochet, chain two, one, two, and then work a half double crochet in that same stitch. That's the first repeat for this round. 
Getting started on our second repeat for this round, we have to do, where is it here? We need to skip two stitches, skip two of the half double crochets. Working in the third, we need to work a half double crochet V stitch seven times. So skip one, two, working in the third, work a half double crochet V stitch. So half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in that same stitch. Now you need to do that seven times, so that's one. Do it six more times and I'll meet you over at the corner. Okay, I repeated that across six more times, so you'll, you should have seven V stitches along this edging. You've got the one in the corner and then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven V stitches. And then we're going to skip that next stitch, the next half double crochet, and we're going to work in that chain two space there. Work a half double crochet, chain two, one, two, and then half double crochet in that same chain two space. That's the second repeat. Repeat that around two more times and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round. To finish off, we need to skip two stitches, working in third, work a V-stitch. And we need to do that, where are we here? Three times. So one, two, working in the third, work half double crochet V-stitch. So that's once. One, two, working in the third, a half double crochet V-stitch. One, two, working in the third. We're going to work a half double crochet V-stitch. And then we're going to join our work, but before we do that, we want to make sure to bring our master color to the front of our work so that we can pick it up in the next round. And to finish off, we're going to join with a slip stitch to our beginning half double crochet, that second chain there. And we can fasten off our third alternate color. And draw it up. That completes this round of work. Getting started on round 12 of our work, you can remove your stitch marker and insert your hook back into your master color. For this round, we're going to be working in round 10, working right over top of round 11. To get started, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. The first three chains are going to count as our beginning double crochet. The last three chains are going to count as our chain three. Now we're going to work in this half double crochet to the left of our half double crochet V stitch here. We're going to work a double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. We need to do that two more times. So working in this half double crochet to the left of our V stitch, work a double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. We need to do that one more time. So work a double crochet in this next half double crochet here to the left of our V stitch. Chain three, one, two, three. Now we're going to double crochet in that next stitch to the left of our V-stitch here. And then we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. That's the first repeat for this round. Getting started on the second repeat. We're going to work across. We're going to work a V or sorry, a double crochet in the stitch to the left of our V stitch. So work a double crochet. And then chain three. One, two, three. We need to do that seven times. I've already done it once, so six more times. Repeat that across, and I'll meet you at the corner. Here we are at the corner. We're going to work a double crochet in the next half double crochet to the left of our V-stitch. And then we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. That's the second repeat. You can continue repeating that around two more times and I'll meet you at the end of the round. 
Here we are at the end of the round. We need to do three of those repeats, working double crochet after our V-stitch first. Chain three, one, two, th three, double crochet in that next half double crochet to the left of your V-stitch. Chain three, one, two, three, double crochet in that half double crochet to the left of the next V-stitch. Chain three, one, two, three, and you can join with a slip stitch to your third chain, your beginning double crochet, and that completes this round of work. Before getting started on the next round of work, you can draw up your master color, put in a stitch marker, and we will pick it back up again in round 14. Getting started on round 13 of our work, our stitches are going to be worked in round 11, which is this green row of work. And to work the stitches, we want to bring round 12 to the front of our work. Push it down in front like that so that you can work in your V-stitches. Now, you want to insert your hook into the first V-stitch that you worked, which is this one right here. You can see your tail. This was the last one. This is your beginning. So we're going to insert our hook into that V-stitch there. And we're going to draw up our first alternate color, which was pink. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to work three double crochets in that same V stitch. So there's one, two, and then three. Chain one. And then we're going to shell in our next V stitch. So making sure that this rounds out of the way, we're going to work four double crochets, which is a shell in that V stitch. So there's one, two, I need some yarn here. So we had two there, this is three, and then four. So, I'm going to chain one, shell in the next V stitch. So, four double crochets. There's one, two, three, and then four. Chain one, shell in the next V stitch. So, four double crochets. There's one. two, three, and then four, chain one, and then in the corner, right here, we're going to work five half double crochets. One, two, three, four, and then five. That's the first repeat for this round. Getting started on the second repeat, we're going to repeat the same thing across seven times. So we're going to chain one, shell in our next V-stitch. So that's four double crochets. One, two, three, and then four. Four. Now do that six more times, work a chain one and then a shell in the next V-stitch. Six more times across and I'll meet you at the corner. Okay, so I have, there's my corner shell here. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shells across with a chain one space between each one. Now after this shell, we're going to chain one and then in our corner, we're going to work five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and then five. That's the second repeat. Repeat that around two more times, and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round. 
we just have to work our repeat here of a chain one and then shell in the next V stitch three times. So four double crochets, one, ooh, two, three, four, that's once, so chain one, shell, one, two, three, four, and then one more time, Ch chain one, shell in the next V stitch, four double crochets, there's one, two, <clears throat> three, and then four. And then work a chain one and join with a slip stitch to your beginning double crochet. And you can fasten off your beginning or your first alternate color and draw it up and that completes this round of work. Before getting started on round 14 of our work, remove your stitch marker. And I actually am going to undo the join, that slip stitch join that I did. Now make sure that you have three chains and then we're going to join with a slip stitch to that beginning double crochet but when we do that we're also going to join under that chain one space there from the last round that we worked. So we'll do the slip stitch there. That brings the work together. Chain two, one, two. That's going to count as our beginning half double crochet. And then we're going to work two half double crochets in this chain three space. So one, two. Then we're going to work a half double crochet in the next double crochet. And when we work in this one, we're also going to work in the chain one space in the last round right there. So you're working under both layers. Work that half double crochet. Now we want to do that three more times. So work two half double crochets in the next chain three space. So one, two, half double crochet in that next double crochet, making sure to work in that chain one space. So there's our half double crochet. Do that two more times. Two half double crochet in the chain three space. One, two, half double crochet in your double crochet and chain one space. One more time, work two half double crochets in the chain three space. Half double crochet in your double crochet and chain one space. Now in the corner, we're going to work two half double crochet in our chain five space. One, two. Now we're going to work a half double crochet V stitch. Let me just double check how many stitches are in it. Just one. Okay, so, and for this half double crochet V stitch, we're going to work in this double crochet here. And we're working over that chain five. So work a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in that same stitch. Then we're going to work two half double crochets in that same chain five space. One, two. That's the first repeat for this round. Getting started on the second repeat, we're going to have a repeat across. So to work across, we're going to work a half double crochet in the double crochet, making sure to work in that chain one space. And then work two half double crochets in the chain three space. So you work the half double crochet in this double crochet in chain one space and then two in your chain three space. Repeat that across and I'll meet you at the corner. Here we are at the corner. We're going to work a half double crochet in this next double crochet making sure to work in that chain one space. Now working in the corner in this chain five space we're going to work two half double crochets. There's one, two, now working in this double crochet, the center one, you've got five there, one, two, three. Working in that double crochet, work a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in that same double crochet, and then work two more half double crochet in your chain five space. One, two. That's the second repeat. 
Repeat that around two more times and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round. We just need to do that repeat three more times. Half double crochet in that double crochet and chain one space. Two half double crochet in your chain three space. So there's once. Twice and then three times. To finish this round of work, we're going to draw up our second alternate color when we join. So we're going to join here and our second alternate color was the butterfly, which is the artist print. So we'll draw that up and do not fasten off your master color because we'll pick that back up. And that completes this round of work. Getting started on round 15, we're going to chain one and then work a single crochet in that same stitch. There's our single crochet. And then we're going to chain one, skip one half double crochet, working in the next, work a single crochet. Now we want to do that seven times, that's the first time, so chain one, skip one half double crochet, working in the next, work a single crochet. That's two, do that five more times, and I'll meet you at the corner. Okay, here I am at the corner, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight single crochets with a chain one space between them. And now that we are at the corner, we're going to chain one. We're going to skip this next half double crochet. And then we're going to v single crochet V-stitch in that chain two space. So work a single crochet, chain one, single crochet in that same chain two space. That's the first repeat. Getting started on the second repeat, we're going to skip the next half double crochet, chain one, working in the next, work a single crochet. Repeat that across, chain one, skip the next half double crochet, single crochet in the next. Continue doing that across and I'll meet you at the corner. Here I am at the corner, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 single crochets with a chain one space between them. I skipped a stitch between each of those stitches. And then at the corner we're going to work a chain one and then in our chain two space here where we're going to work a single crochet V stitch, so single crochet, chain one, single crochet in that same stitch. That's the second repeat. Repeat that around two more times and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round. Continue repeating chain one, skip a half double crochet, single crochet in the next. Repeat that over until you get to the end or where your join is. Okay, so here we are and you can join with a slip stitch to your beginning single crochet and you can draw up your master color or no, sorry, we're going to just join with the color we have. And that completes this round of work. Getting started on round 16 of our work, we're going to slip stitch in the next chain one space drawing up our master color. So, and then you can fasten off your butterfly. I think that was the second alternate color. And now we can chain one, single crochet in that same chain one space. And we're going to do this round the same as the last one. So chain one, skip the next single crochet, working in the chain one space, work a single crochet. Repeat that until you get to the corner. So chain one, 
single crochet. Chain one and single crochet in your chain one spaces. Okay. And then in the corner, and we're going to work a single crochet V stitch. So chain one, or sorry, that's a single crochet, chain one, single crochet in that same chain one space. So continue working that around the same chain one single crochet in your chain one spaces and working a single crochet V stitch in your corners and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here I am at the end of the round I'm just about done and then I can work a chain one and join with a slip stitch to my beginning single crochet. I can fasten off and weave in my ends and that completes my blooming garden afghan block. Oh, you just need to do some butterfly bodies. If you need some help with that, check out my other YouTube tutorial to see how to do that. For more crochet patterns, tutorials, and yarn shop, please visit my blog, dearestdebbie.com.